the second world champion Emanuel Lasker was really one of the great giants of the royal game. He ruled on the throne from 1894 to 1921 and this amazing record has not been broken to this day and I think it is quite likely that this record might never be broken. He was a very strong pragmatical player. He could prepare well for the specific weaknesses of his opponents. He was an extremely tenacious defender. This is the reason why I've selected two of his amazing performances in the interactive video test so that you can try to defend as tenaciously as the great Immanuel Lasker. And of course this length of his whole career not only on the throne but also afterwards when he played many more extremely strong tournaments with strong performances. So he really is one of the greatest of chess. Okay, so let's uh, start the endgame section with a few examples on Rogan Minor Peace against Rogan Minor Peace. Here, Lasker is white against Emanuel Schiffers in Nuremberg, 19, uh, 1896. It is white to move. Okay, the position is drawn. But Lasker's uh, attack is so uh, strong that it's uh, yeah, next to impossible to defend over the board. How did Lasker start here with white to move? F8 queen, that is indeed right. Because after king g7, well, I can defend by just taking the pawn, attacking the f pawn, and now, um, yeah, it is uh, rook and knight against rook and the two pawns, but okay, even with the, the pawn, this endgame is, is a draw. And yeah, here, here it is clear, so this is not a good try. Well, f8 queen, check is king f6, and now how to defend, and defending really is difficult. Uh, so take your time. What should Schiffers have done? The only move is rook c2. And after king takes e6, very important, king g8. The point of the defense the, that destroys the harmony and coordination of white's attacking forces. And now White cannot win anymore. Black Zorok takes the pawn and is in time for the reign of checks from the queen side and this is a draw. But okay, over the board it is extremely difficult, of course, to find this defense. Uh, on the other hand, uh, directly King G8 loses, then Zwischenschach, in, in German for in-between check, King of A check, and now White's harmony is still there, and White is winning. In the game, Schiffers played Bishop G8, but then came Rook E7, closing the mating net. Yeah, knight g6 made a threatened, so black must give the bishop, and it's over. White's attack crashes through. Yeah, here, really, a rook and knight are in full harmony, and Schiff is resigned. Yes, there's no escape from the mating attack, and really nice, typical patterns, you should know them. should be part of your arsenal of endgame weapons and here really Rook and Knight coordinate amazingly well. The threat Rook D7 made decides the day in White's favor. So, yeah. F8 Queen was a very good pragmatical decision to continue the attack. And after king f6, it was next to impossible to defend over the board. The only way is rook c2 and king g8. And this destroys the harmony and coordination of the attacking forces, and uh, which is often of utmost importance when rook and knight play 
together. Yeah, this might be in some cases even more important than a, than a pawn. Well, in the game, after bishop g8, Lasker really finished in style with a nice, beautiful mating attack.